Hello again. I've noticed um, that a couple of people have posted comments lately when I've mentioned nuclear weapons, insisting that they do not really exist and have never worked. This is a really odd conspiracy theory. Um, it's got quite a few followers now, actually, but some of you might not have heard of it. It started a few years ago, and I thought it might be amusing to see where it came from originally. In 1970, two science fiction novels were published which both explored the possibility that nuclear weapons couldn't really be dropped from aeroplanes or fired on missiles or indeed sometimes they couldn't work at all. Uh, the first of these books is A Jesus Factor by Edwin Cooley and what happens there is it's discovered that the, although the test at Trinity works perfectly well with the nuclear weapon stationary, once the things are moving, they can't work. That nuclear weapons can only detonate if they are completely stationary, which means they can't be dropped from aeroplanes or anything. And the Americans simulate uh, nuclear explosions at Hiroshima and Nagasaki by using fuel air bombs, uh, magnesium, and then sprinkling radioactive material over the two cities as well. This is exactly what the conspiracy theory about nuclear weapons suggests, that the uh, nuclear explosions of those two Japanese cities were fate. It's a jolly good thriller because the whole point is that the Americans realise that they can't make nuclear weapons that will explode while they're moving. They don't know if the Russians have got round that problem, which is called the Jesus Factor, which is the title of the book. So... It's, uh, it's well worth reading the book. It's been out of print for many years now. Uh, the other book on a similar three theme was called The Last Year of the Old World. Uh, it was published in America as The Bomb That Failed, written by Ronald Clark, who wrote a very good steampunk novel in 1967 called Queen Victoria's Bomb, by the way, about the idea of um, a nuclear weapon being constructed in the 19th century. But anyway, in the last year of the old world, nuclear weapons don't work at all. The test at Trinity is a dud. And the result is that the Russians don't stop at Berlin. They sweep towards the English Channel because you know, they were only being kept in check by the realisation that the Americans had nuclear weapons. Somehow or other, the plots of these two thrillers, both long forgotten today, half a century after they were published, have been combined into a conspiracy theory. And it's one which is seems to be becoming more and more popular from all I'm able to see. I provide links in the description to this video to these two thrillers. So I'd be interested to see if any of the people who have been posting comments here about nuclear weapons not working will have anything to say about this.